In this video, I'm going to show you how to import and configure a Cisco ASA in GNS3. Now, before we get started, a great place to go for information is the documentation on the GNS3 website. You can search for topics such as ASA, and notice we see hits such as ASA 8 and Cisco ASA V Appliance. This is a very good document to read. It was added by Julian and last updated on the 12th of January 2017. I'm going to talk more about this document in a moment, which gives you links to download various ASA images, such as this file, which we'll use for GNS3. So as a starting point, have a look in the documentation. Now, this is very important. On the GNS3 documentation, there's a page that discusses ASA 8, and this is the important part. ASA 8 is not supported on GNS3. You may find many tutorials on the internet explaining how to extract ASA 8 images from physical devices and then use them with GNS3. This was the way to do it in the past, but the results were very random and are getting worse and worse. If you run Windows 10, you will have multiple issues running an ASA 8 image. So what's the bottom line? Don't do it. Don't try and run an ASA 8 in GNS3. The way to do it is to run the ASA V appliance. This is a version of the ASA made by Cisco for using an ASA in virtualized environments. This is the solution supported by Cisco and the GNS3 team. The recommended way to do it is to use an ASA V image with QMU. And that's what I'm gonna demonstrate now. You could use the ASA V image with a VMware, but it's not recommended because it's harder to share the VM between projects or with other GNS3 users. So, to summarize, you should use an ASA V image with QMU. Another good document to read is the Cisco ASA V appliance document on the GNS3 website. This document contains links to the appliance file and how to import the appliance. I'm gonna demonstrate that in a moment. It also talks about the version supported, which you can find further down in this document. So the version supported include ASA V9.71, 962, 961, 9.5.2204, and 9.5.1201. The GNS3 documentation page also gives you the download links. So by simply clicking on this link, you're taken to Cisco's website where you can download the relevant image. So this is the image that we're going to download. We won't download the bin file or the other files because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to import the ASA V using an appliance. So important notes about the images. Only images validated by the viral team are known to work correctly with GNS3. 9.5.2.204, QCOW2 or later are recommended. Other releases may not work. Another warning, even though Cisco releases images via the download portal, only use images approved by the viral team with GNS3. Images on the main Cisco site may be missing required features such as console output. This document also shows you how to configure some basic settings on the ASA. I'm going to show you in a moment how to configure the ASA using CLI. Now some troubleshooting, if you don't have console access with the ASA V, you need to use one of the recommended images. If your configuration is not saved when running the ASA V on Windows, remember that the ASA must be run in the GNS3 VM. Don't try and run it in QMU on Windows. So without further ado, let's get started installing and configuring the ASA on GNS3. Now, the first thing you need to download is a Cisco ASA V image. 
In this example, I've logged into my viral account and I've gone to Cisco ASAV. So I'm going to click on the download link to download that image. I'm gonna click accept a license agreement to download the image. As you can see here, my ASAV image is being downloaded. So download the ASAV image and store it, for example, in your downloads directory. The next step is to go to the GNS3 website and go to Marketplace. Click on Appliances and then search for ASA. Click on the ASA Appliance and click Download Template. That will then download the template to your local PC. In this example, I'm using a Mac, but the process on Windows is basically the same. So the GNS3 appliance has downloaded. My Mac changed the extension to a TXT file, so I'm gonna change it back to GNS3A or GNS3 appliance. So I've got the appliance downloaded and I've also got the viral image downloaded to my Mac. So now in GNS3, I need to import the appliance. Now, please note, you need to use a GNS3 VM when using appliances from the GNS3 marketplace. So in this example, I'm using version two of GNS3 you can see that the GUI is version two, and so is the GNS3 VM. So on the GNS3 menu, I'm going to go to File, Import Appliance. I'm gonna select the ASA Appliance and click Open. Now we're told that the Adaptive Security Virtual Appliance is a virtualized network security solution based on the ASA 5500X series firewall it supports both traditional and next generation software defined or SDN and application centric infrastructure or ACI environments, provides policy enforcement and threat inspection across heterogeneous multi-site environments. So basically this is an ASA appliance that you can use virtually. So we told which category the appliance will be added to. That's the firewall category. We told some other information including that KVM is required. Don't try and use this image on VirtualBox. Make sure that you're using VMware virtualization. So as an example, VMware Workstation or ESXi. Click Next. Notice the grade server types are not supported or configured. I need to use the appliance on a local GNS3 VM. So I'm gonna click Next. We told that the GNS3 server requirements are okay. Click Next. Now GNS3 has automatically picked up that I've got the image downloaded. If it's not downloaded, I can click on the download link, which redirects me to the vendor, which in this case is gonna be Cisco Viral. The Viral website is very slow, so it may take a while for that page to display, but I opened it up previously for this video and essentially you'll end up here where you'll be able to download the images. So you'll need to log in and then access the images. In this example, I've got a 9.52 image available. If you wanna change that image, you could click on import, browse to where your file is stored and click open to use that file with GNS3. I'm gonna click next. Now we asked, would you like to install the Cisco ASAV image? And the answer is yes, that's what we wanna do. Now we asked to select the QMU binary that will be used for running this appliance. I'm gonna stick it with the default and click next. A summary is shown, I'm gonna click next. We told that the appliance will be available in the firewall category we're told that there's no default password. Click Finish. The ASA is now installed. So under the firewall category, I'll drag an ASA to the workspace. And what I'll do here is select two 3725 routers running in the GNS3 VM. They'll simply act as PCs in the topology. 
One of them will be used on the inside and one of them will be used on the outside of our topology. So I'm going to select the fast ethernet interface and connect it to gigabit 01 on the ASA. That will be our inside interface. Gigabit 00 will be connected to router 2 and that will be our outside interface. Make this a bit bigger so it's easier to see. So router 1 is connected to the ASA on gigabit 01. Router 2 is connected to the ASA on gigabit 00. I'll start up the topology and open up a console. We can see that eight network interface cards have been found. We told that the platform type was not configured, but it's now successfully discovered the platform and is going to reboot to apply the platform type. So the ASA is now rebooting. So it's starting to reboot. Network interface cards discovered is once again eight. Okay, so the ASA has booted up. Type enable, password is blank. And now we can configure the ASA. I'll put this configuration below this video. First thing is show run. Show run shows us that gigabit 00 and 01 are shut down and don't have names at the moment and don't have security levels. So on gigabit 00, I'm going to call this the outside interface. It sets the security level to zero. I'll configure an IP address of 8888254 slash 24 mask to pretend that that's the outside. I'll no shut the interface, go on to gigabit 01. Call this the inside interface. It sets the security level to 100 by default. Configure an IP address of 10.1.1.254 slash 24 mask, no shut the interface. This is our internal interface. Now we need a route to the outside. This is how the ASA will forward traffic to unknown destinations. In this little topology, I'm gonna to forward it to router two. Now we need to do some NAT translations. And I'm going to paste that in rather than typing it. So we're going to create a network object, specify a subnet, and do dynamic NAT on the outside interface from the inside interface. And then I'm going to add a policy to inspect ICMP traffic. That will allow us to send ICMP traffic from router 1 to router 2 in this topology. Once again, the configuration of the ASA is below this video. So on router 1, I'm going to go on to the fast ethernet interface, no shut it, give it an IP address 10.1.1.1 slash 24 mask. That should be able to ping the ASA now, which it can. I'll set up a default route to the ASA. So that means that router one will forward all traffic to the ASA for all networks except the local network. We'll do something similar on router two, no shut it, give it an IP address of 8.8.8.8 slash .8 .8 .8 24 mask. IP route, I'll point it back to the ASA just for this simple topology. So now, can router one ping router two? Yes, it can. To prove that, let's do a debug IP ICMP on router two. I'll send a single ping. Notice an ICMP echo reply was sent from the local router, router two, to a destination of 8.8.8.254, which is the ASA. The ASA is using NAT. So as an example, Router 2 won't be able to ping Router 1 because it's trying to send traffic from the outside to the inside. Traffic from the inside to the outside, however, 
is supported as shown there or if I just do a simple ping we can see that the traffic is sent from router 1 to router 2. So that's an example of how to import a Cisco ASA into GNS3 and how to do a basic configuration. The configuration again is below this video. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If it was of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.